absolutely. I mean, that's, yeah, that's all so clear where those impacts are going to be. You identify either that area that's a, you know, a challenge or the area that is causing someone to excel. And if you can capture that, understand it and either replicate it or put a stop to it, the downstream impacts across that team are going to be massive. So talk to me, let's talk first about, um, the sales development sort of prospecting side. Then we'll talk about the, the AE or closing side. So sure. for sales development for prospecting, yep. um, how mm -hmm. do you just get set up with kind of like the minimum viable data? Wh where where yeah. do you even start? Yeah. So, um, gosh, I do a bunch of master classes on this. If folks want to check it out, just go to atriumhq.com and like click on the resources tab. I have like a bunch of recordings on, on like different classes on, um, you know, setting and managing goals, SDR, like data driven SDR management, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so the, in short, really what you want to do is just like, first, just start. And what that means is don't overthink it. This is oftentimes what we find in organizations that we're, we're working with is like, we'll talk to an organization. One of the value propositions of Atrium is that like, it's extraordinarily easy to set up. It takes like five minutes to turn on. You just like, you know, Salesforce, you just sign in with your Salesforce account. And like in five minutes, you have a world-class metrics harness. So, but like oftentimes what we'll do is we'll, we'll talk with a customer and like, th they're kind of like off lost in the woods because they're like, well, we got to think about all the different metrics that we want to track. And yeah. you know what, like, and it, like, they're trying to like boil the ocean as opposed to just saying like, Hey, like what's the minimum viable version of this? Okay. If you're talking about SDRs, it's like, let's track email, like emails, calls, right? Like those are, those are inputs. Um, let's look at some quality metrics. So let's look at email response rate. Let's look at connect rate. Um, let's look at, um, and then let's look at conversion between unique accounts or like leads engaged and then like opportunity output there. And then from an output standpoint, let's look at opportunity creation and then maybe let's like sum it up, mm -hmm. right? Like pipeline creation, right? If you start with that, like what we've got right there is a very basic, like we got very basic inputs, emails, calls, maybe some other gesture, like whatever the engagement gesture might be. We've got quality because you have to measure quantity and quality. Mm -hmm. um, and then, then you got your outputs as well. If you just started doing that, literally, if you just started like writing on a whiteboard, that would be okay. Just like, just start. So that's the first thing. And then the next thing, you, then you start kind of going to like the second level on this. And actually I ha we have these um, really helpful like desk reference, like laminates here that have all the, I don't know if you can see that okay, but mm -hmm. like uh, um, if you go to atriumhq.com forward slash laminates, you can actually get a free copy of these. But because then there's like, I don't know, if you're, I don't know if you're much of a skier, Sarah, um, but uh, I did, then you I can kind of off in a ski town. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Right. So like you can go from bunny hill to then like blue slope. Right. And that might be, okay, what would be the next thing that you'd want to pay attention to as an SDR? Uh, and that might be like unique accounts interacted with. Mm hmm right? Unique contacts interacted with. Like you could have someone who's sending a bunch of email, but if they're only, if they're only engaging a small set of like unique contacts, like that's probably a bad idea because those people are probably getting pissed. Um, right. And it's not like a lot of at bat. So maybe it's unique contacts, unique accounts, new accounts, right? Mm -hmm. New contacts, because you, like you got to have fresh like fresh blood coming in because then you're going to process them through whatever your sales engagement, you know, solution might be. So like those might be the next level of, of those input metrics. And then you would look at like more quality, like you could enhance your quality metrics as well. Like, okay, cool. We were talking about email response rate and like connect rate and conversion rate there. Well, then what are the behavior, like what are the quality, like behavioral quality indicators that might be how multi-threaded are we? Mm -hmm. Are we engaging a high number of contacts in each of these accounts? Because oftentimes we see this where SDRs, you know, they get an account and like maybe they grab one persona out of the, the, the data source or whatever. And like they go ham after that person versus spreading their net within, within an account and maybe targeting three or five or 10, whatever the, you know, the kind of the, 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 the best practice might be for your specific sales motion or prospecting motion. So contacts per account, um, touches per account. Like, are we touching them once and like putting it down again and be like, I don't know, I need more, I need more leads, <laughs> right? So like those would be, 
because these are the sort of things that then you start kind of being able to diagnose where the shortfalls yeah. are in in the team. It's like, oh, I see what's going on here. SDR, you're putting in lots of activity metric, like you're putting in lots of activity, lots of emails, lot like you're engaging lots of accounts. And also we've got new accounts coming in. Man, the opportunity output isn't there. What's like, what's going on there? Geez. Oh, look, you're only engaging one contact per account. Hmm, I think I see something for us to coach, right? Or, or alternatively, oh man, this person is really putting in the work. They're doing lots of emails, like they're engaging new contacts and new accounts. Um, they're touching quite a bit and they're multi-threaded, but boy, oh boy, like the opportunity creation is not there. What is like, what's the deal there? Oh, look at that email response rate. It's, it's in the pits. Yeah. What's the deal there? Oh, like, let's look at the content that they're, you know, let's look, are they using the right sequences, right? Are they, is their contact selection appropriate? Oh, you're, you're selecting the wrong personas from, yeah. you know, from Zoom info or, or what have you. So like getting to that next level now allows you to kind of more accurately see where the hitch and the giddy up might be. And then you can kind of go from there and get like, you know, more like double black diamond, like some of the organizations we work with, because the atrium has like a hundred, like hundreds of these metrics that are just like pre-baked. Um, things like win rate on opportunities that yeah. as, that an SDR sources. Because sometimes like, or like not just how many ops are being created by the SDR, but like how many stage ones, like how many of the ops that they create are getting a stage one or stage two or stage three. Because like all opportunity creation is not created equal. Yeah. And, but that's like more like double black diamond stuff that, you know, our customers get to with the help of our customer success team.